Surprise! Buckle up, Buttercup! Wow. Yes, a new addition to the family. The Imagine Aim 15BH, the first camper designed by Grand Design that is towable with an SUV. I cannot wait to give you all the details on this unit, a complete walkthrough, and I'm going to show you why this is a good addition to your Bronco. have a few final touches to do before we hit the road. Days and weeks and really months of preparation have led to this day. You guys, this camper, I'm just so excited. We are going to get started on our journey here pretty soon. Um, we are kind of cutting it down to the wire. The delivery of this was a little bit delayed than what we were expecting. So we were planning to be on the road this morning or even last night. Uh, so unfortunately, we're cutting it close to uh, getting it to United by Bronco on time. Um, there are a little bit of modifications that we have to do that if we would have had a little bit more time, we would have been prepared for. But like I said, we're trying to get on the road. So the issue we're having right now is the cord is not long enough um, to reach the plug. So we are going to remove the spare tire and put the spare tire in the camper because um, obviously we need to have a spare tire and there's plenty of room in the camper for it. Um, this isn't going to be like a permanent thing that we're going to have to do. This is just really because we are on time constraints. And good thing I have this guy right here Yay, to hooray. do all the heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. He's already sweaty. It's like 90 degrees here. It's really it's hot, it's um, even for a February day in Florida. Oh my God, it's February. Wow. It's been a while since I've had an RV in my life, and I am so happy to welcome the Imagine Aim 15BH to our family. Grand Design graciously is letting us demo this unit for the next couple months to provide feedback for them because this is the very first RV that they have developed that is towable by an SUV. And whether you think the Bronco is an SUV or not, it technically is. I'm gonna have so many detailed videos on why you can make this happen with your Bronco if you are into the camping RV life and you didn't think it was possible with kids or with your Bronco. I'm here to show you that it is completely possible. So be sure to buckle up Buttercup for this new adventure. Before I start moving all of our stuff in, I thought I would show you what it looks like before I get in there. It's so loud. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, I had to put the phone down to do that. Learn in here. Look at this beautiful unit. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Brand spanking new. This thing was just made. Oh, look at all the counter space. Wow, guys. This is just amazing. I can't wait for the kids to be in here and sleeping in here. So much space for a tinier unit. I say tiny because compared to the other Grand Design units, you know, this is the smallest one they make. But they are so smart with their design work and how they lay it out. Like, check out the bathroom. This sink blows my mind. Look at that. Totally crazy, right? Folds up. Shower. Look at that beautiful mirror with storage. Like, they've thought of everything. I'm going to start the walkthrough. I've just shown you what it looks like before I move all of our stuff in. Right here is the command center. This is where you're going to see if your tanks are full, empty, and then also the battery power. Now, this is where you control the lighting. If I click the ceiling light, watch. The lights come on. No, I'm not connected to electric. This has a solar panel and is ran off solar. Another cool thing is the refrigerator is actually ran off the solar power, technically the battery, but is recharged with the solar panel, which is awesome. Over here, you're gonna also find, you know, regulation for your heat, your air conditioner. We are gonna be boondocking, so we will not have access to use the air conditioner, but the heat is propane, so we will be able to test that out because I think Utah is gonna be a little cold. Um, so that's like your information center. 
you look over here at the bedding, I believe this to be a twin size bed. And then this is a queen size bed. So a ton of space. What's nice about this bed is you can lift it up and it gives you that extra head space. This is probably the way we'll keep it when the kids aren't with us. But then if you look over here, you got nice little storage containers um, for when you're using the bed. Nice big window. And if you look under the bed, look at here. I could seriously make this a bedroom for one of the kids. Look at it. It's ginormous, all the storage space underneath there. Now let's go check out the bathroom. I already showed you briefly about this, but I always love that Grand Design puts these uh, skylights into the showers because it makes it so bright. We've got a window, mirror here with storage, and I can't get over this sink. Like what? They really thought of ways to utilize small spaces. You got the toilet outlets, switches right there. You also have a fan. If I go over here, you see that there's hooks by the door. And then let's check out the little dining room, kitchen area. Uh, this folds out into a bed. I would say this is equivalent to about a twin size bed. And then look at the kitchen. Tons of counter space for a smaller size camper. I just can't get over the amount of storage. Look at all the cabinets and even down here. Look at this. There's endless amount of space here. Look at that. It's just, these cabinets are so nice. Not something you would expect from a camper company. These are just as solid as the ones in my house. Like they are legit solid wood. Really, really nice. We have a two burner stove here. Nice, that's propane. It's a propane stove. And then we have the microwave, which is also works as like, I think like as a little convention, yeah, convention microwave. So you'll need um, electric to use something like that. Of course, you also have the lights and fan. The fan is not, oh, the fan does work on solar power. What? And then we have the TV and then here we have a little spot if you, you know, wanted to put entertainment storage games or something. And then we all know how much I love the fridge because the fridge is powered by the battery and the solar, which I just said a little bit ago. And there's also a freezer, a big amount of space. That's the advantage to going with a battery powered refrigerator and freezer because the propanes, you know, it, they're so much smaller. So you just get a lot more space with going the battery route. And then here, more cabinet space. Look at this, guys. I guess you could use this as a closet. There's a little pull there. Nice. Nice drawer. Got three drawers here. Super nice. The other thing I absolutely love is this huge window. It's just so big. The amount of windows in this unit really makes it feel like a bigger space. But that's just a quick little walkthrough of the unit before I move all of our stuff in. I'm so excited because there's so much storage space in here and it could be towed by the Bronco. I'm, I'm elated. I, I just cannot believe the opportunities. Like I'm going to cry because it's just so amazing and I'm so thankful for here I am getting emotional, but I'm just so grateful for the opportunities that have been given to me. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this journey. I cannot wait to get on the road, going to Utah, my favorite place in the country with my Bronco and a camper. Like that's like every girl's dream to be able to do this. So let's get all this stuff moved in and then we will go more in depth of what this amazing unit has to offer. Oh, but wait, there's more. I forgot to show you the outside of it. All right, I wanna show you this now before I forget. Check it out. There's an outdoor grill. So if you're one that doesn't like to mess up the kitchen and cook outside, this comes with the camper. Amazing. It's one of those flat top ones, which are definitely my favorite because you can make anything you want on them. The other really great idea that they had is you have two openings to get to this under bed storage. So you have this big opening here, and then you also have this big opening here. Now, since this is a demo unit, we were under the gun to be able to get this in time. So we came into a little bit of a situation. We've been prepping the Bronco for the last two weeks, getting this ready. One of the things that we couldn't really test 
was how the spare tire was going to go with the camper and extender and everything. And since we're on such a tight schedule to get to United by Bronco and we wanted to give us enough time to get there, we went ahead and just took off the spare tire. But the best part is we have plenty of storage in here to be able to put the spare tire. Um, I think we're going to use this side right here. So if you're wondering, can you fit a Bronco 35 inch tire in here? Why, yes, you can. Um, this is just a quick and easy fix to get us on the road. When we're back from Utah, we're, we're gonna, you know, figure more things out. That's why we're doing all this. We're figuring these things out for companies. So it's really, really awesome. With that said, I think it's time to move in. Okay. Well, after a lot of sweat, it's 97 today. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. A lot of sweat from one of us. I was sweating too, because I had to load the camper and... I mean, my shirt's completely soaked and look, you look fantastic. I would When do I part. get to be the pretty one in one of the videos? Never. <sighs> we're prepped, we're ready. It's time to hit the road. I agree. I mean, I'm really excited how the trailer turned out, how the equalizer hitch is just sitting with the vehicle. I mean, The this Bronco, thing... there's no sag, like everything is awesome. But you know what? Buckle up, buttercup. You ready to hop in and oh my gosh <laughs> i am a little nervous but i'm confident that's okay yeah we definitely uh are gonna get used to having the trailer back there but i can walk you through all the basics we got the trailer brake in case of emergency you know what thankfully I jim you. has lots of experience oh my gosh i can't believe months of preparation for this very moment months months since last year here we go. The 360 camera is gonna probably come in handy for this. Whoops, I already got it. Oh, I see, okay. What's really awesome, these 21 off-road wide angle mirrors. Loving it. I can really tell the difference now, especially with this one on, so. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Like my heart is pounding so fast. Oh, the light is green. Oh Gotta God. pay attention. I believe in you. <laughs> Nothing but open road. Oh my gosh. I cannot, I'm gonna cry because I cannot believe I'm doing this. Right Don't now. cry, you gotta pay attention it's to like, the road. To pull into our first gas station. First gas stop. Uh, light come on at a quarter tank. That's a first. But, you know, that's what happens when you're pulling a camper. In 200 feet, turn right onto Martin Luther King Boulevard. I'm like a pro now. We are in here. We're getting ready to spend our first night in here. I'm really excited. It feels really good. It feels good in here. I'm not totally impacted because. You know, not we, totally unpacked. You're not even like a little bit. Unpacked. I yeah. Uh, we left as soon as possible. Had an eventful <laughs> evening. What a great time! But we made it decent distance. Uh, so we're gonna stop for the night and rest and start over tomorrow. Have a good night. You know, the first trip. It's just always something. So um, everything is good. Ran into a couple fans today, which was yeah. really awesome. But. I cannot wait to sleep in the camper. I can't wait to feel if the bed's comfy, which I was just, you know, when I was making the sheets or making the bed, it seemed very comfy. Um, but here's to our first night. Hey. Yay! Oh yeah. <laughs> 